Welcome back Commander. In this video we took a look at the 5 mistakes all pure renegade players make. If this is your first time here and make videos on Mass Effect, I already have a ton of videos on my channel, make sure you have a look at them once you finish this one. I recently made a video on 5 Paragon mistakes and I wanted to follow up with this video. However being a renegade is a lot of fun and trying to find mistakes isn't quite as easy. But you guys are amazing and during our last live stream, Saturdays 9pm UK time and 4pm Eastern. I put this question out so a little help from you here are five times being a renegade is a mistake. Oh, and you know, spoilers. In Mass Effect 2, you look into recruit a Drell assassin who turns out to be Thane. He's already on a job to kill Nasana Dantius, the very same Asari who tricked you into killing her own sister in Mass Effect 1. She's aware that her life is on the line and sealed herself away in the penthouse of a tower. She orders all of her Salarian workers to be purged because that's good business practice apparently, and she has also employed the Eclipse mercenaries to protect her. As you make your way up the tower, one of these Eclipse mercs is standing next to a very large window. It's here you have a renegade interrupt to push him out of it, but this is a mistake, because if you don't do it and let him live, he'll help you with the guards in the next room. A bit like this. They'll be all over you. Is a little information really worth dying over? Is Nasana? No, I suppose not. Okay, look. Last I heard, the assassin was down on the mezzanine. But the teams on the bridge think they might have spotted him. Nobody knows for sure. Get out of here. I'm going. And also, it's on the list as a mistake, but it's still pretty funny just to push him out the window. And it's an option I always pick, to be honest. Tell me where the assassin is, and I might let you live. If I knew that, I wouldn't be wasting my time talking to you. You're not one of Nasana's mercs. Who are you? You've got two ways down. Express or coach. Your choice. Look, pal. Even if I knew where he was, I wouldn't tell you. Not the answer I was looking for. I've got nothing more to say to you. If you How about goodbye? Harsh. Uh, I guess he had it coming. Now can you see how hard this video is to make? In Mass Effect 2, when you first meet Tally, she's in Freedom's Progress, looking for a fellow Quarian by the name of Vitor. He's the sole witness to an entire colony being abducted by the Collectors. As both you and Tally arrive at the same time, you have to decide who Vitor leaves with. His Omni tool has recorded the events and you want the data. The renegade option here is to send him back to Cerberus, but picking this yields no bonus. In fact, all it does is damage your reputation with Tally and the Quarians and hamper Vitor's recovery. Oh, by the way, I want to say a massive thank you to Perry Corrin for all these suggestions. And if you have any other renegade mistakes, let me know down in the comments. Throughout all these Mass Effect trilogy games, you get a chance to be interviewed by Kalisha Aljalani. But being a typical reporter, she has her own spin on the story that she's covering. Al-Jahani is a pro-human and likes to portray the council trying to treat humans as the poor relations. Therefore, no matter how you answer in the interview, she's going to twist your words and make you out to be nothing more than a puppet of the council and abandoning the human interests. This, as you can imagine, can get you annoyed. And if you're leaning towards the renegade path, you have a couple of options on how to end the conversation. You can simply walk away or you can punch her. That's a bit harsh in my book. But it is an option, and you can do it in all three games, yet doing so will be losing her as a war asset in Mass Effect 3, and to be honest, it's just wrong. If you agree with me, give me a boom on that like button. During the main mission of Mass Effect 1, you have to go to the planet of Ferros. The colony you visit has been taken over by a giant plant known as Thorian. This plant has telepathic abilities and is a control in the colonists. It can also help you in search of Seren. Well, it could, but it won't. What is that? Nothing's ever simple, is it? So you proceed to do what any good horticulturist will do and take out the weeds. Once the planet is dead, it spits out Shiala, an Asari commando who was sacrificed by Saren in order to obtain the cipher, the thing you need to help find Saren. Now once you've gained what you need, and either tried to save the colonists, or if you're feeling quite brutal, just slaughter them, Sheila wants to know what you'll do with her. You can either let her live or straight up murder her by shooting her in the back of the head. 
Like the other points on this list, it doesn't give you any benefits to killing her. Sparing her life doesn't mean that she'll hunt you down or your family or steal your ship. In fact, there's no good reason to kill her. Allowing her to live sees her working with the colonists to rebuild, a little bit of flirting, and you even get them to defend themselves against the Reaper, adding to the water assets in Mass Effect 3. Legion is one of the best characters in the game. Having spent the entirety of Mass Effect 1 doing nothing but shoot the Geth, when you have the prospect of meeting one that doesn't instinctively want to see you dead, it's a welcome relief. Yet as a renegade player, you have the option not to activate him and send him off to Cerberus. Yes, you do get a nice hefty 15 points into the renegade side, but there's no real point maxing out just one side. In Mass Effect, there was two hidden missions if you got 80% on either Paragon or renegade side, but they didn't do that for Mass Effect 2. I mean, let me know in the comments if you'd see a video on them. So sticking to just one morality side will give you more consistent character. However, there's no benefit to sending Legion to Cerberus. All you do is miss it out on learning more about the Geth and their side of the conflict with them against the Quarians. Legion does pop up again in Mass Effect 3, but only as a cameo. You don't get to speak with him, he just appears as another enemy to kill. My advice for Mass Effect 2 is to play as a Paragate, half Paragon, half Renegade. Lean to one side or the other, don't be afraid to make the opposite choice so you don't miss out on some really good storytelling. To see 5 Paragon mistakes, click the links on screen now. Big welcome to Horseman46 who's the newest channel member and a big thank you to him, Nerdy Dude and all of my supporters, you are simply amazing. And I'll see you next time, Commander. Thank <music> you.